Russia's energy company Gazprom said on Tuesday it will change the payment method for gas exports to China from euros and dollars to rubles and Chinese yuan. It did not provide further details on the payment mechanism or when it will switch payment methods to rubles and yuan. This is not good news for the dollar, but it must be said that the U.S. has made its own bed and will have to lie in it now. It's just common sense in international finance that the U.S. should stop imposing sanctions and start creating better conditions for the dollar to serve world trade, which would help consolidate the status of the American currency. But the reality is that U.S. sanctions are imposed too frequently and are backfiring against the dollar. China does not want to de-dollarize and attack the American currency. And at the same time, the U.S. should be aware that they are damaging their currency themselves. Let's now look at how the U.S. is forcing Russia's hand and constantly threatening China. The U.S. is really digging a deep hole for itself.